Introduction to the Menstrual Cycle A female has a lot of things to keep track of in her day-to-day -day life, irrespective of her age. One of them is the menstrual cycle calendar. Generally, a girl experiences her first menstruation between 10 and 15 years of age and attains puberty. During this stage, the girl's body is vulnerable to several changes, such as the growth of pubic hair and budding of the mammary glands. Since then, it is important to know whether she is ovulating every month, because irregular menstruation may sometimes indicate a serious health issue. In this lesson, we are going to learn in detail about menstruation and various phases of the menstrual cycle. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe menstruation and the influence of hormones on the menstrual cycle. And explain the phases of the menstrual cycle. Menstruation and menstrual cycle. Menstruation is the process in which blood and other tissues are shed from the uterus and leave the body through the vagina. The beginning of the cycle of menstruation is called monarchy. It is also called the menstrual period or menses. The first day of bleeding is marked as the first day of the menstrual cycle. The length of the menstrual cycle is calculated from the first day of the period to the day before the beginning of the next period. The average length of the menstrual cycle is 28 to 29 days, but this can vary between women and from one cycle to the next. During normal menstruation, nearly 40 to 80 milliliter of blood is lost from a female body. Hormones of the menstrual cycle are produced by the ovaries and anterior pituitary. Each menstrual phase is influenced by estrogen, progesterone, follicle stimulating hormone, that is, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, that is, LH. The variation in the level of each of these hormones decides the menstrual phase which a girl undergoes. During the menstrual cycle, the level of LH and the estrogen start to increase and reach the highest level, that is, around the seventh day. However, maintenance of high concentration of sex hormones, such as estrogen exerts negative feedback on the anterior pituitary, decreasing LH and FSH secretion, thereby lowering their level in blood. Due to insufficient LH level, no ovulation occurs, which causes irregular menstruation. On the other hand, the growth hormone, or GH, and thyroid stimulating hormone, or TSH, have no role in menstruation. Normally, the menstrual cycle continues until the end of the reproductive life, approximately till the ages of 47 to 50 years, and then ceases, this stage is called menopause. Nowadays, some women experience menopause at an early age, somewhere around 40 years. At menopause, there is an abrupt increase in the gonadotropic hormone. Phases of the menstrual cycle Naturally, there are four phases of the menstrual cycle, which include the menstruation, or menstrual phase, the follicular phase, the ovulation phase, and finally the luteal phase. Let's see what happens in each phase of the menstrual cycle. The menstrual phase is the day when menstruation begins. It lasts for about one to four days. In some women, it may go up to seven days. During the menstrual phase, the spiral arteries that supply blood to the endometrium of the uterus constrict. As a result, the endometrium breaks down and detaches from the inside of the uterus and passes out through the vagina. Also, the immature ovum in the uterus passes out along with the menstrual flow. The next phase after menstruation is the follicular phase. During this phase, the endometrium of the uterus begins to build up again. And at the same time, several follicles start maturing in the ovaries. However, only one of these follicles will attain maturation, others will eventually deteriorate and disappear. Let's move on to the next stage, the ovulation phase. 
This is the shortest phase, and occurs around the 14th day of the menstrual cycle. During ovulation, the increased estrogen levels, that is majorly estradiol, trigger a sharp rise in luteinizing hormone, that is LH, from the pituitary gland. The rapid secretion of LH reaches its maximum level, causing the LH surge. The peak level of LH induces the rupture of the graphene follicle, thereby causing the release of the ovum. Following ovulation, the luteal phase begins. The luteal phase is also called the secretory phase and lasts for about 13 days. That is, occurs between the 15th and 28th days of the menstrual cycle. During the secretory phase, the mature follicle that just released its egg develops into a structure called a corpus luteum. The corpus luteum, or the empty follicles, begin to release progesterone, which gradually reaches the peak. Besides, relaxin and inhibin are secreted by the corpus luteum. Now, the endometrium of the uterus continues to prepare for a fertilized egg. That is, it becomes thicker and develops more blood vessels. The endometrial lining attains a thickness of 5 to 6 millimeters. If fertilization does not occur, the corpus luteum degenerates into corpus albicans which is nothing but a mass of fibrous scar tissue. If the egg is not fertilized, the endometrium will break down and lead to menstruation. Thus, a new menstrual cycle begins again. If the egg is fertilized and implants, or, embeds itself in the uterus, at about the 20th day of the cycle, the endometrium will help in nourishing, the embryo leading to pregnancy. Also, the human chorioniconadotropin, or, HCG, signals the corpus luteum, to continue progesterone secretion, thereby, maintaining the thick lining of, the endometrium and providing, an area rich in blood vessels, in which the zygotes, can develop. Thus, when pregnancy occurs, menstruation ceases and, the endometrium passes into, a pregnancy phase. Once the baby is delivered, the ovarian and menstrual cycles, resume after a variable period, that is, about 6 to 10 weeks, based on the breastfeeding activity. Conclusion. Thus, knowing when in the menstrual cycle, a woman is most likely to conceive, can increase the chance of, pregnancy. The events of the menstrual cycle, always occur in the same sequence, but their timing may vary, considerably. Each month, some females have symptoms, such as, bloating, abdominal cramps, and mood swings, for a few days before, or, during menstruation. If the symptoms are, severe enough to interfere with daily life, the condition is called, premenstrual syndrome, or, PMS. Symptoms of PMS, can be helped with medications, or, lifestyle changes like, proper diet and exercise. Summary. From this lesson, you have learned that, the menstrual cycle is complex, and controlled by many different hormones, produced by various glands. Menstruation is the process, in which blood and other tissues, are shed from the uterus, and leave the body through, the vagina. The four phases of, the menstrual cycle are menstruation, the follicular phase, ovulation, and the luteal phase. The secretion of, FSH leads to the growth of, the follicle, which causes a sudden increase in, the levels of LH. The LH secreted by, the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland, causes ovulation. The LH stimulates, cells of ovarian follicles, to develop corpus luteum.